Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another FNAF teaser analysis video. Really wasn't expecting uh, to have one tonight, but here we are. So, being <laughs> being a FNAF YouTuber, I constantly have to check scottgames.com. I do it a few times a day, which is a lot more than I should, but um, you know, I'm I'm always on that Scott Games grind, and I swear. I did not notice this, because normally when it comes to teasers, we're expecting an entire new image. But for tonight's case, we are looking at the same image, technically technically it's different, but it's the same image than um, the previous few weeks, or months, whatever, um, however long it's been on, but something slightly changed about it, and we will be going deep into the analysis of what changed, and we're going to be theorizing about it. Basically, we're just going to do our normal routine of teaser analysis videos. And this is it. Now, you may be thinking that this is just exactly the same teaser that we've been looking at for the past few weeks, but that would be where you are incorrect. Look at Freddy. Now, look at Freddy's head. Now, his left ear. Do you see something in between his left ear and those leaves off to the left of his left ear? Oh, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the reluctant follower from FNAF Your Help Wanted, Curse of Dreadbear. Now, of course, this could just be another humanoid bunny figure, but really, that's the only humanoid bunny figure we've seen recently. And I didn't want to say this in the video because I feel like I was already being pretty harsh to Curse of Dreadmare um, near the ending, like my overview of how much I like the DLC, but we really have no clue who this reluctant follow is. We have no clue who she is, who she's talking to, who she is um, allies with, who she's with, like, we don't know anything is what I'm trying to say. But I feel like whatever this project is, I believe Steel Wool is making this one, because I think this is Into Madness, um, as far as I'm aware. Which is great, because not only has Steel Wool made Curse of Dreadbear, they're also now making Into Madness, as we found out in a, um, in a previous date. So this is perfect, because we're finally going to get answers to who the heck this character is. Whether they actually mean anything to Curse of Dreadbear DLC itself, or they were just the stepping stones for the next part in the FNAF story. I have a feeling it's going to be that second one, because FNAF VR, um, as much as I love it, has changed FNAF so, so much. It's now all about a meta game. We've now got um, Tape Girl and Jeremy and Dale, or Dave, no, it's Dale, and now we've got this reluctant follower along with Glitch Trap and Dreadbear. It's just, it's changed so much. Um, I feel like this game is unbelievably necessary. It was pretty necessary, well, I wouldn't say pretty necessary, but, um, I guess it was slightly needed because there are still certain answers that we, um, don't know the answer to, like, for example, who the bite victim is, which we thought we were going to learn in Curse of Dreadbear, but as it turns out, we didn't get anything on that, so I feel like... Whatever this is, whether this is FNAF 7 or FNAF 9, because I thought it was FNAF 9, but in the source code, let me pull it up quickly. In the source code, as you can see here, it says 7 underscore 1. So, maybe this is FNAF 7, maybe it's FNAF 9. Whether it is, whether, whatever it is, is what I'm trying to say. We are going to get more insight on not only this new character and who they're working with, we're also hopefully going to get more answers from previous questions we've had. For example, the bite victim. I didn't pick this up in my video where I actually found the mask, but the the girl that's talking when we put on the mask, the reluctant follower, basically she's um, an ally with uh, Glitch Trap is what I'm trying to say because, um, again, I didn't pick this up, um, when you literally pick up Glitch Trap when you're wearing the mask, you get the conversation. That's how you get the easter egg and, um, you know, clearly there's a link between the mask slash the reluctant follower and Glitch Trap slash plush Glitch Trap. So there's something happening there and also, if you remember last time in the source code, there was something like, you know, Follow the path, I will, have you chosen one, I have, something along that lines, I'll put up a picture here, 
Um, I don't remember the exact quote, but clearly there's a linkage between the dialogue we hear in that source code and the dialogue we hear when we put on the mask. So we're going to learn um, who the reluctant follower is following, who they're talking to, you know, what's their motive, what are, the, what are they doing, you know. We're going to get so many answers to this new character in this new part of the FNAF lore. Brightening up the image I don't think is going to do anything because it is just the same, um, image than last time, just it's been overlaid with another image of this, um, this new character. They are holding something, and it's really hard to make out what it is because they are so small, but if I had to take a stab at it, <laughs> a stab at it, god dang it, I'm, I'm guessing it's a knife. I'm, I'm really guessing it's a knife. Because what else would it be, really? I think the reluctant follower is following, with my current understanding, with everyone's current understanding, I'm pretty sure it's accepted, widely accepted, but not proven, I should point out, that they're following William Afton, who, if you guys are unaware of, is actually Glitch Trap. So, maybe they're, like, so they're clearly part of a cult. This is all, most of it's speculation, because again, we don't, we barely know anything about these characters, but, um, especially this new one, so I'm guessing they're part of a huge cult who, um, I'm pretty sure Darko mentioned this in his Q&A video, but they're part of a big cult, and, you know, they're all trying to revive, uh, William Afton, since he's now dead after the FNAF 6 fire, and then he's in Custom Night, um, which is his purgatory, so, and then there's whole that story about Golden Freddy banishing him to hell and leaving his demons to his demons, but he doesn't stop. Whatever. <laughs> they were trying to revive him, and maybe this reluctant follower is like the leader, because there's no way, and Darko mentioned this, William Afton, as horrible as a poor person as he was, you know, murdering kids and stuffing them into, you know, freaking animatronic costumes at pizza, pizzerias, he was brilliant. Melding different souls and characters and remnant together to get, like, the fun time characters in the books, um, and then, you know, just the whole idea of remnant in general, making, um, what's it called, the extractor, the remnant extractor, um, the blueprints that we see in FNAF 6, he's brilliant. So, these people have bonded together to form a kind of cult slash guild, gang, whatever you want to call it, um, and try they're trying to revive him because, you know, they look up to him so much because they probably see him as not a bad guy, but as, you know, like a mad genius, I guess you could say. That's really all it for my, uh, my speculation. There's not much to go off of. Again, it is like a 20 pixel, 20 pixel by 20 pixel, you know, addition to the image, but it does leave a lot open for speculation as we found out in this video. So I'm super, super, super happy that we're finally going to get answers to who this is. Um, this does have a release date, 2020. <laughs> it's not a good one, but you know, it is coming next year. So look forward to that. Um, other than that, that's it for me. Uh, that's it for my opinion and my views. I know other people have made videos. That's actually how I found out about this because again, this is such a small addition that it went unnoticed by me. So, you know, if you have your own opinion, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Goodbye. On the flip. Bye. Why do I always suck at doing my outro? <laughs>